add the M and the N together, the X stays the same. So everybody needs to write that rule. It wasn't until my children were young and in school that I decided that I wanted to have a job that allowed me to spend more time with them. So I worked on getting a job in a school and got a job as an instructional assistant in Lexington One in a special education classroom and I instantly fell in love with it and knew that that's what I wanted to do. Product property is when we are multiplying two exponents that have the same base. She means a lot to me because she's just an outstanding person and she just helps a lot, a lot of students and stuff and she's like, if like, you're being rude to her, she'll, try, she'll, she'll still be the nicest and sweetest person ever. Multiplying exponents with the same base, what do we do to the powers? She helps so many of our students in so many different ways um, with helping them just to not give up and just showing them the love and the compassion that sometimes is very hard to give to some of those students who are difficult at times and that you just don't know what else to do to reach those kind of students and she always digs deep and finds that love and the different strategies to be able to help them to understand the math concepts or to just want to come to school. She is able to do that for our students. So what do we have to do that 10 and that 5? We do have to divide those suckers. She's really important to us because we have trouble in our math classes to where we can't stay focused or anything like that. And so we have that small class in there that lets us keep our focus together in one group and she just she helps all of us around as best as she can. What power do we have here? What's four minus four? My students are often students who dislike school. They're not happy here because they've struggled. They've struggled for a long time, especially by the time they get to high school because they struggle in reading or they have difficulty writing or they, they have a hard time in math. So when they get here, they really need to, first of all, trust me, trust that I'm gonna help them with whatever they need. They need to know that I'm someone who's gonna encourage them and always be in their corner. So it's really, really important for me to build relationships with them so that I can build them up and help them to get through their four years of high school. She's a part of a kid's family and just the interactions they have with, their, with the meetings and the, and the constant communication with the students' parents, with the other teachers at the school, she's a, a tremendous facilitator of making sure everybody's on the same page. And you know with, with Tracy Holcomb that it's going to be done right. It's going to be done at the highest level of quality. 100 minus 3. So x to the 97th power. She's just really, really supportive of the kids. You know, she's always able to help out when they need it. We co-taught last year, and that seemed to help great for the kids. Um, I would teach a lesson, and then we'd go kind of around the room. Um, and if the kids had any questions, we were all able there to help them out. So she's just very supportive of them. She knows that they're able to learn and she wants them to succeed in class. I hope that they remember how much I cared about them. I hope that they remember how much I believe in them and how I always tried to help them believe in themselves. We are going to use this to help us learn. The first year that I worked at Pillion High School, I was new here and that's when the HSAP exit exam was still in place and I was assigned four special education students who were seniors who had not passed one portion of that test. So the proudest moment for me was the day that we got scores back and all four of them had passed their section of the HSAP exam and the administrators here let me sit in on the meetings where we told the students and where we told the parents and just to see the tears and the laughter and those kids being so proud of what they had accomplished and just knowing that I played a small little role in that.